In this video, I'll show you how to perform a greenfield analysis in any logistics. Let's learn how in a real business case. We're going to start selling chocolate bars in the 100 biggest cities of Poland. Our demand projections are proportional to the population of the cities. We decided to deliver products once a week. We predict that we can cover a market share of 1%. With the aid of the built-in ALX World Cities database, if users specify additional parameters when creating a new scenario, the required tables will be filled in automatically and the customers will be displayed on the map. Greenfield analysis takes into account the following data. Customers and locations, lists of products where we can specify each product's name and unit. Aggregated demand for each customer and product. And the time period defining the duration of the experiment. The first step is to find areas to locate the regional sites that will supply our customers. We would like to deliver the products within 5 hours, which means the customers should be located within a 250-kilometer range of the new facilities. As a result, we need three potential areas to locate regional sites. Since the GFA experiment does not consider roads, cities, means of transportation, etc., it may suggest putting sites on the top of a mountain or in a lake. As we want the facilities to be located in the cities, we need to perform the GFA with roads experiment. The GFA with roads experiment takes into account actual roads and populations of the cities, which allows it to suggest more accurate facility locations as compared to the simple GFA experiment. We already know that we need to open three sites. As a result, we need to open regional sites in Bidgosh, Katowice, and Warsaw. Scenario data and experiment results can be displayed on the map view as well as on the structure view. The structure view shows the logic structure of the scenario. It depicts the main elements of the supply chain, customers, DCs, factories, suppliers with their connections. The structure view allows you to reorganize and filter the elements on its layout, making the whole idea of the supply chain look more intelligible. The results are available in the dashboard below the experiments view in the form of statistics distributed through the tabs on the left. Each tab refers to a certain type of statistics. If required, you can rename remove a tab or export the content of the tab statistics to an MS Excel file. The next step is to find the optimal location for our factory. Any logistics enables you to convert scenarios or their results into other types of scenarios for further analysis and optimization. GFA allows users to find new facility locations based on first echelon sites data. As a result, we need to open the chocolate factory in Pyotrkow Trybunalski. We can see more detailed results on the dashboard. Product flows table illustrates the flows of the supply chain within the specified period. New site locations table shows locations of all the new sites that were created as a result of the experiment. Distance coverage by demand table depicts detailed statistics on the distance to cover to satisfy a certain percentage of the demand. And demand coverage by distance table shows detailed statistics on the demand to satisfy within a certain distance. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use any logistics to solve your supply chain challenges, feel free to contact us by email.